Well, when we're working real hard defensively to make sure our defensive players and coaches are getting what we need in practice to develop the attitude, the structure, the performance and play that we need. So um, uh, we're, we're going to work hard outside of quarterback. We need our defense to take – we're in the Big Ten. We need to take – like I said, we need to take a big step. And we need to start playing consistent defensive football at, at a winning Big Ten level. Um, offensively, um, we, we, we're, we're a stat team that does okay stats, but we don't do okay if wins because we don't make competitive plays. We don't make critical plays. Our third down percentage isn't very well. Um, we move the ball statistically better than we score touchdowns. We have a thing that's called yards per touchdown. So if you have 400 yards of total offense and you score two touchdowns, that means for every 200 yards you score a touchdown. If you have 400 yards of offense and score five touchdowns, that means for every 80 yards. That just means you're more productive in the fringe zone. You know, we, we can get a first down, first down, first down, but if you bog down at the far 40 and go for it on fourth down or punt it, you just kept, kept your defense off the field. And keeping the defense off the field doesn't win. It's scoring points and, and, and score stops. So, again, we got the defense. You know, quarterback play, yeah, got some players that's figured out. Uh, defense, it's time to start playing some competitive physical run defense, quality defense. And I think our coaches and players are up for it. There's going to be better competition on defense because I think 15 of those signees are defensive players. And on looking at them, they appear to be more talented than some guys that have played. We'll see when, they, when we get them. And then offensively, we got to go from stats to points because what we need is to be a team that wins football games for a change. We've really got the whole team back. Losing a couple guys. We're adding 23 scholarship guys. Really excited about a couple walk-ons we're adding. And, um, but we'll have a preseason uh, deal. And there's actually going to be some quality guys not on preseason. If I look at our preseason roster, I've got guys that lettered last year. I'm not sure if they're going to be preseason, preseason invited. And they were on the field playing on special teams that lettered. So we're, got, you know, we're getting a little bit more depth. And um, what that hopefully is leading to is not depth because you're staying healthy. But just if you have injuries, it's really depth for competition. She can practice better, and guys are fighting to get on the field because we haven't had a lot of competition, especially on defense, since I've been there. I think we really changed IU football. I know that when I was a freshman, I came in, you know, it was the stereotypical kind of team. Like, you're a freshman, the seniors are seniors. You don't really socialize that much type of thing. But I'll tell you right now, like, you know, I'll have dinner with Fant or, you know, hang out with Allen or, you know, I got Isaac Griffith at my house playing video games, Ricky Jones over, like, they're really, we're not looking at freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, because unlike it used to be where, you know, everyone got registered, they're all going to play. At the end of the day, everybody's going to play. So I'm not trying to, you know, be little guys because they're freshmen. I'm trying to bring them up, you know. You're just as equal as me. I know that you got the talent to do it. So I think that's kind of the whole mindset that's changed at IU. Like, we want, like, I, I want Cody Latterman to be even better. I want Nick Stoner, you know, or DeWeese to start over me. Like, I'm trying to, because if, if you push everybody else and everybody else is pushing you, we're all just getting better.